<laughs> These walls have more faces than that one scene from Berserk. One can only assume this game will become equally a <laughs> up. What, oh, oh, no. <laughs> the grenade launcher. Uh, the horse. No. No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. How's it going people? Jack here with another video. So I've been attempting to play through some games and feature more of them here on the channel. Yet there are some that I never feel that I can truly play fully through. And one amongst those is a game called Cruelty Squad. And boy have I saved this video for a while. I've been requested to check this out but I Usually a thing that I do is that I want to play through a game first so that I kind of understand at least the references that are being made. And this one I couldn't finish. It's just too much. This game, listen, this game has so much lean, so much green. It, it has more guts hanging out of it that if you were to show it to a Chainsaw Man fan, they would look at you and go, this is pretty mid. <laughs> Which is not really a bad statement since every anime fan call everything mid. But this is from the same studio that made the Space Organ Warlord Trading Simulator game that we watched the review from Seth last time. And it's uh... uh. So <laughs> that said though, this is a review from Jimothy Ross, an amazing editor. And uh, yeah, let us check it out. This video's got like spoilers in it. Cruelty Squad is a tactical first-person depravity simulator that is the hit sequel to Mario 64. It's also completely cool and normal looking and developed by Consumer Soft Products. It was made with the intent to spite anyone with functioning eyes. Set in a dystopian neo-capitalist society where the value of human life has plummeted into the negatives. You play as Pink Nukem, a bionically enhanced super assassin who played too many video games and must purge the world with the powers of trimping and bee hopping. For a bit of backstory, I was browsing Steam a few ago looking for my next epic and rad game to play. Alright buddy, you got two options here. You can play, or you can play. Why not both? I mean, I got both, but I want to do this okay. one first. Come on, homies, move! No! Get it off me! Ah! Oh, the body horror. Capitalism more like crap. Slow the fuck down! Aesthetically speaking, this is one of the most bizarre games I've ever seen. So if you thought a game yeah. like Raiden's Revenge was edgy and violent, oh, bro, you have no idea. We start the first cutscene with our protagonist undergoing a rain simulation when we receive a mysterious call. What's up, loser? It's Little Caesars again. <laughs> Just kidding. This is Pizza Hut. Since you're a depressed homie, we got a new job for you. The infectious Black Friday has spread to other months. It's only a matter of time before it infects other days of the week, too. It's chaos out there. Your mission is to assassinate the marketing Excelsiites of Night City. Wake up, Samurai, <laughs> before the deal epidemic gets out of hand. Uh, how much am I getting paid again? <laughs> Good luck, and may the shorts be with you. You <laughs> see the title screen hinting at future automobilia. One of the first things you'll notice starting out is that the game thinks it belongs in an art museum or something. The fact that the first thing that you see is just like a random shooting going on outside is just crazy. It's like the epithome of this is your brain and this is your brain on reddit. It's got this frame around the screen at all times that displays how much of a punk ass you've been. Because I already died like 10 times it gave me the trypophobia one. Instead of uh. being stupid and docking your health bar, this game is based and lets you eat dead bodies. Oh boy. Yep. Cannibalism? Ha! Huh, I love weed. The second thing you might notice is what the fuck am I looking at? I like barely even have to edit this. The game deep fries itself for me. No, I don't want to install Counter-Strike Source. See, that's what everyone says about this. It just boils down to haha -ha drugs. Game journalists see a healing item and they're all like, yo dude, that soda's got me all <laughs> fucked up right now. I think I got epilepsy. And I have a bit of a double standard because I 100% agree. This is indeed what happens when you give a game developer the wrong prescription. And I fucking love it. Thank you, Walgreens. Did I mention that the reloading mechanics seem like they were designed by someone with Parkinson's? Oh you know, yeah, you have to right pull back. Yank the mouse towards you. The Microsoft Paint text also seems to support this theory. So we kill Big Pharma and get taken down to the Paradise City. Where the grass is... Eh, and the textures ain't pretty. These levels may not have any checkpoints, but there are finish lines. And I think it fits pretty well. Each mission has many different ways of tackling it, so you almost never end up getting stuck. Take, for example, the car level. So we enter the 
passenger seat of a 95 oh, Chevy no. Caprice and meet the driver. He claims that he Stop needs some police. air and requests that we point the AC in his direction. We go to the glove compartment and locate the developer's meds. We're making a hard ride at Saratoga. Out of curiosity, I checked to see if the police were still on us. Uh -oh, yep. Busted. Just act natural and you'll have nothing to worry about. No, Ossifer. It's hi. How are you? <laughs> Shit. They're on to us. Many escape attempts later and we finally arrive at your home address. Oh no. Average sized pit bull alert. Oh god. Oh no. Strong lady. Here we meet a new enemy type. The grimy ass hoe. She'll completely disregard your vehicle and come at you with a knife. Once dispatched, she'll leave behind a cloud of hot chip dust. So we infiltrate through the garage and take out the first man. Next target. What the fuck is with these textures? Oh my oh god. Oh my god. What did the corpse say to the killer? Oh, please, carry on. What could this... K-Y-S. I mean, yeah, I'm a fan of them. Oh, <laughs> that's a lot of uh, action figures you got there. There's literally only two levels in here that are kind of normal. The swamp one. And like, no, not even the office ones. Because that's that's basically where I stopped the game. There, bro. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Look, Pim. Uh, what is your... Hi, welcome to GameStop. <laughs> oh shit, sorry, I, I, I Freudian shot. Yo, is that cat? Uh, oh my god. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, I'm fine. <laughs> oh no, no, he falls. Yeah, the pentagram. What? Oh, yeah. of course, the entire neighborhood is a pentagram. This is an anti-rapture. One of my favorite <laughs> aspects about this level is all its trademark locations. Some of these famous landmarks include Bin, <laughs> Bin, Bin Laden's, Laden's compound. compound. As much as I would love yep. to hang out and chill with the man himself, I think it's about time we move on to the, uh, Egypt level. Turning around and heading the wrong direction, Chronicles, we locate a fisherman's hut, or as I like to call it, the home of Challenge Piscine. Hey there, stranger. I assume thou art a fan of masterfully baiting. A man scorned by this uncaring earth may find solace in the sea. Yes, I used to be a CEO, but my line was cut. As the old saying goes, give a man a fish. Feed him for a day. Teach him to fish. fish. And crash the stock market. <laughs> Feel free to well, grab my rod. Wait, what? Take my fishing pole and let all your worries wash away. Oh, and yeah, okay, to earn money, yeah. with what marine biologists refer to <laughs> as the ocean. They always say there's millions of fish in the sea, but what about the bee? Or the you never know where Sev is going to go with a reference, so you gotta stay on your toes. As the ocean, they always say there's millions of fish in the sea, but what about the B or the D? With this fishing rod, we'll become a master of offshoring profits. Just like the harvested organs of the innocent, all the fish you catch can be sold on the stock market, making this marine-based Fortune 500 one of the most efficient ways of earning money. So after returning to the mainland and getting our forklift certification, we tactically convinced the guards to let us in. Uh, the rest of this level is really cool. I like the part where the, uh, I forget what happens in it. Around this point, I was alerted about a couple of fun and interesting secrets the game had to offer. According to the scripture, if you head to this very <laughs> specific location and play the game how it was meant to be played, we wake up Oh wake no. Up we enter the Quora domain. How high? What's the developer? <laughs> very yes. High yes. Like, like, this game is so bizarre that your editing is going to be like fucking normal compared to this game. What makes you say that? <laughs> Heading up to the Orb of Confusion, as in, I'm confused. Confused is why I thought this would be a good idea. We get duped into activating the game's secret hardest difficulty that I forgot how to turn off. Now you're probably wondering what the fuck that was for. No. Okay, first and foremost, don't. If you touch it, there are so many downsides about this. I did that for two hours. Like, your, your vision becomes blurry, which, again, may be a good thing because this game is, like... It's an acid trip, but <laughs> why? Why did he forget? What the fuck that was for? We confusedly and misguidedly head up to the police cult headquarters. Well, and you, you don't serve food? I thought this was an a restaurant. <laughs> Get it? Cause it's a police By the way, Jimothy has such yeah, an amazing it's soundtrack. Yeah, it's a migraine. Are you bee hopping right now? <laughs> uh, kind of. It's hard to explain. Oh uh, yeah, you see, this is a movement shooter. It's a movement shooter. Proceeds not to move while shooting. <laughs> yeah, you're it's right. like my favorite songs in there. <laughs> oh my! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, no, you see, I popped because it's free balloon day. Uh oh, creative enemy type alert. Meet the actual psychopath. This mind melting 
fundamentalist will make your eyes suffer yeah your brain shoot it suffer as quickly as possible them before the cognito hazard activates is most recommended speaking of cognito hazards let's talk about upgrades because they're fucking disgusting okay got flashback to something disgusting oh my god like imagine for example the recon squad from attack on titan oh matter of fact all the young folks in attack on titan playing like uh, pseudo medieval technologically advanced spider-man just spider-man as a whole that's basically the better reference i should have made but with his guts instead with his freaking appendix oh, and uh, your oh. look i can't be the only one who after playing a game in 10 hour plus time project themselves into the character okay and me getting that as an upgrade will not go okay i like my back <laughs> the most notable bio augmentation is known as the grapendix unlike real life the grapendix does much more than explode no 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 it kills its host in a much more stylish manner i'ma preface this by saying it doesn't take much to get put on my favorites list if it's a first person shooter with a grappling hook in it but this one upgrade <laughs> out of like 50 made this game go from uniquely bizarre hitman like to the most fun i've had in an fps ever and the bio thruster oh don't even get me started on the bio thruster experts say that if you don't own a bio thruster you're a goo Goo Gaga baby who wears diapers. Combining these two upgrades along oh, with so many yikes. more makes you become Spider-Man, but but gross. What the smiling things on the side of the wall? <laughs> these walls have more faces than that one scene from Berserk. One can only assume this game will become equally as fucked up. Oh, oh this is the grenade launcher. Uh the horse. No. no. No, 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 no. Did you just kill yourself? No, <laughs> shut up. No, no. <laughs> this game being anti-capitalist, I needed to get in the right mindset, so I watched an Amazon training video and my aim has gotten significantly better. <laughs> Dethroning the police, we head to the easily marketable wasteland known as the shopping mall. We've got cool enemies. We've got ghoul enemies. Oh god, that's a weird fucking cat. And we've got Kyle McStockbroker from Can That is essentially what I imagined that the final form of Flowey from uh, Undertale would look like. Yes, I never went with the neutral route. Stockbroker from Connecticut trying his absolute hardest not to use racial slurs. To save the mall from tyranny, we must transition from Paul Blart to Small Blart using the cortical scale down. This makes the Skull Blarts much easier to deal with. You look Elon right in the face and Justice. you suddenly feel compelled to play Minecraft. You got the shotgun. Apparently Remington released their new ammunition for sensitive skin. And lastly, of course, we have propaganda. One might ask why things are like this, and I think one of the reasons is because of the factors involved. I'd definitely rate this an <laughs> S tier level. It has really cool <laughs> intricacies. You want to go to the pizza place? Epic. There ain't no pizza there. But if you go to the changing room, you stumble across this mysterious forest full of vents to crawl through. We also meet the flesh rats, or as I like to call them, the germa spawn. They poison you and I hate them. Never talk to me or my family ever again. This is all seeming a little bit sus. So let's move on to another spooky secret I found. Oh. Sometimes upgrades will grant you access to parts of earlier levels, such as the Indian burial ground and the creepy pasta mission. <laughs> what? Oh no, you gotta be kidding me. He messed up. He messed up big time by not disabling that hard difficulty here. He's gonna be get screwed. Uh, uh, the fuck? Am I supposed to play the game like this? I'm, I'm genuinely <laughs> freaked out right now. So we end up in Gary, Indiana, uh, without a map, mind you. And, uh, because I postponed my cataract surgery a little bit too long, we stumble around in hopes of waking up. At least I came in time to see the 200th annual Ninja Festival. God damn, they're elusive. I should have just called this level redacted SCP. All of them. Here's the kicker, <laughs> I only learned after the fact that I was indeed playing this entire level incorrectly. Uh, under normal circumstances, this oh, is what you're supposed to be seeing, and you need the flashlight to yeah, find your yeah, way yeah. out of this mess. Funny thing is, I never got the flashlight, but because I'm playing on the hardest difficulty, a red fog permeates the area at all times, which means uh, I pulled a gamer move and unknowingly handicapped myself. Get and wrecked. before you politely ask, yes, I do know how to parry. Yo, he has the entire Justice up album to the here. We get captured and pinned to a surgical table. Ha, joke's on you, I already have schizophrenia. Except something was a bit different. We have been relocated to France. We're here at Build a CEO Workshop, where Bezos' friends are married. <laughs> 
Because we are old and crotchety, we select the cane to dispose of the youngsters with. Gee, I haven't seen villagers act so friendly since I played Animal Crossing. <laughs> no, it took away my fucking bee hopping. We also engage in fun elderly activities, like going to the park and throwing popcorn out for the birds. Oh look, a stream of viscous purple substance. I wonder what jokes I can make about this one. Oh god. How many copies of Old Yellow do I have to send to <laughs> off to let them know that this shit is not okay? I do gotta say, I'm enjoying this version a lot more considering they cut out the worst assassination target. It, it mm -hmm. really eases up on the psychological torture aspect. Uh-huh. Yes. As an empath, I can sense that this man is deceased. Hey, Dad, how was work? Oh, God, please, I'll behave. Hey, guys, it's me, Karl Marx. And this is my ideology is very bad. What a funny guy. What a quirkster. <laughs> my new startup called Blockbuster is sure to be a hit. Movie rentals are the future. Yeah, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just go ahead and put you out of your misery right now, if you don't mind. <laughs> Anti-capitalist. After greeting the townspeople, we head up to the bridge of subliminal messaging and meet the subscribe monster and his notification bell attack. He's a head hey, monster feed. And he's a, he's a he's kind of he's kind of jacked. And between his sessions of T-posing and Roblox screaming, we shoot him with our 12 gauge to cure his dermatitis. Okay. So we assassinate the target, and because of our CEO implant set, we call them multiple times at 3 a.m. to milk their corpse for content. After defeating the Beast of Wall Street, we go back to our humble apartment to relax after a long day's oh, no. traumatizing. Oh, you done fucked it now. Hey, got raided. I'm watching Smosh. There are federal agents outside your apartment. If you want out, you'll have to make your way to the building's <laughs> rear exit. All right, and where's it located? The back. Welcome back. Today on MTV Cribs, we're going to be murdering my landlord. <laughs> you ordered the large eviction notice with a side of swatting, right? Those are the only two things you CEO-types do. Eat hot shit and lie! God, this game is satisfying. Here we see the suspect, having just <laughs> murdered his landlord, taking pride in his accomplishment. He- <laughs> Oh my god. I forgot what I read in the title, JCS. I was like, where? The, the, the Criminal Psychology Channel? Um... I mean, it's fitting. <laughs> Projects his feelings of humans having negative value onto others and decides to murder them with little hesitation. This may become problematic in the future. This apartment is more complex than meets the eye. There are several recursive non <laughs> hallways that loop back on each other, made out of various anomalous materials, such as the door dimension. Okay, I know the doctors try to say I was unhinged, but how do they explain this shit? I mean, yeah, I like their music, but this is getting kind of ridiculous. All right, what is your deal? The super AI emerges stream. Oh, <laughs> what is this paroxysm? What is that even? Brain frying gig. What? <laughs> oh, oh no! What the fuck? I don't know if I don't even want to continue reading. Yeah, Deep waste. Ace. Yeah. Okay. See, see you later, fun NPC. So we get let off with a slap on the wrist, and then data mosh our way to the next level. Uh, sorry, bro. It was a misinput. We didn't actually mean to swat you. I just have one question. What is an orgasm? It's when you fold a paper to look like birds and shit. Uh oh. We can suck the bull squid. We can suck its juices. <laughs> you know what makes this worse? I, I, I did play last year uh, on stream. In fact, uh, we were playing through this uh, game called Fashion Police. And in there, the final boss is basically, at least not the final, but one of the bosses. It's basically a Reddit moderator. The cruise levels is essentially just full of Reddit mods. The sweet life is on deck, and Mr. Mosby is back at it again, gun zerking the LMGs. It's our job to oh fuck, and it's our job to clear out the witnesses. Oh, oh no, sorry, I'm homeland. comparing it Australia. with the party level. From this point onward, but also before, the levels become and have always been insane. Oftentimes they might tell an unspoken story, yeah, starting off shrouded in mysterious ambiguity, and then progressing to a far more sinister conclusion. Which then leads right back to the- what the- what the fuck? Bog business really swamps you with content. Nice toilet cleaner ASMR. Oh wait, that's the music. <laughs> oh man, they weren't lying when they said this had slope core. I, I love- I love it, it's great. How, how could you- not have fun on this level. What a lovely qu quagmire. Entering the casino <laughs> zone, we transition from gamers to gamblers. They'll never be prepared for my secret move. Life savings attack. Whoa, I actually hit the psycho, what the hell? 
trapdoor time, yay. Okay, cool. So we gamble away all of our medication and end up at the Fortress of Dumbasses. This is where all the <laughs> stupid idiots live. Have fun. Today, I will initiate a normal conversation. Be me. Browsing oh, 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 no. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. it. Stop. Oh, bro. So All of them are like this. Oh my god. This is the worst level. This is terrible. Why would anyone, why would anyone make this? This is, this is the worst. Regaining our divine light, we gain admission to the Neuron Activator, an epic nightclub powered by excessively untired people. How do they do it? Well, why don't we stick around and find out? Drags. Knowledge acquired. We can indeed throw toilets as weapons. It's important to read the dialogue in this. <clears throat> Fury time. Our civilians are a written mass of flesh, vaguely connected by a vegetative psychological link. Our value is determined by an extra-dimensional being who is toying with us. We have no capacity for thought. We are I wasn't even simply attention. an ecosystem of flesh. The text on the screen, what the fuck are you talking about? Considering that this is a tactical <laughs> stealth operative, we gotta take several precautions to make sure we don't get caught. Uh, all right, all right, get, get this. I got a new business idea. So, uh, we're gonna make this antivirus, right? And it's just gonna be absolute dog shit, right? It, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's gonna, it's bad. It's gonna be bad. And, uh, we're gonna pre-install it on every laptop. Shoot him. <laughs> I did the world a favor today. After destroying John McAfee, I backwards long jump to the cubicle mission so I can shave 3.5 seconds off my midlife crisis speed run. Uh, here at the office, we have a colorful cast of characters. I really like the part where Dwight pulls out his <laughs> size and kills everyone. You cannot use the double gun cup for the fucking study. Being freed from the shackles of the water cooler really makes you feel like Spider-Man. No, this 9 to 5 is no longer for me. I have to take out the CEO. I Elon must. In the center of the complex, there's this cool door, and upon entering, there's an ele elevator. Well, 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 if it ain't the fence. Get out of my head. Now, if you Get look closely, you may notice the faint translucent circle moving to the top of the screen. This is what's known as astigmatism. So we inherit the bastard's fortune and acquire enough wealth to unlock the house microtransaction. This is where you start off at your humble abode and two minutes later have to kill oh, three yeah, gods. It's again. literally a JRPG. Let's go say hello to the new neighbors. That's him. That's the guy that doesn't watch the Big Bang Theory on CBS. Let's get him! <laughs> oh, man. Not even the neighbors like me. I guess sometimes it's nice to take a little break and reflect. I guess this whole time I've just been using my weapons as some sort of defense mechanism. Everybody wants happiness. <laughs> Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Some people just have more complicated ways of obtaining it. I feel though, as long as I have this fishing pole, I think I'm gonna be alright. Let all your worries wash away. This is genuinely therapeutic. <laughs> Yeah. The game has three endings that all sort of build off of each other. The first okay. requires you to infiltrate the Archon Grid, the only part of the game that actually gave me a headache. It's subtitled 500 oh. hours. Oh, really? The only one? Well, okay. <clears throat> I was having an aneurysm the entire time I was playing this, but fine. Some people, I guess, are build tougher than others. Mind pumping action for a good reason. The second requires you have hard mode turned on as a prerequisite and you go to where it all began. Everyone watch out, he's got a reservation at Dorsia. Eliminating him is a top priority. What? What does life by <laughs> Are you- what? Okay, no, no. no, this is entertaining. You know, I'm honestly kind of surprised they didn't go the more trippy route. I mean, they could have just been like, hey, what's up, guys? It's me, John Squad. And today no, no. Oh, oh no. Trip. We've made it to the funny kaleidoscope mission. <laughs> oh, God, what the fuck? So here in the back rooms, you really gotta watch out for the, the dangerous entity. <laughs> Miss Frizzle, like, I don't like this trip. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, this is true hell. If hell exists, I am in it. Oh my god. <laughs> Too much, Bobby. <laughs> oh. I guess we could call it a scotidoscope. Okay, that was bad. God damn it. I was trying to make a play on the word on Bobby Scotty. Oh, oh god, I'm tweaking out, bro. The 
final secret mission is a trauma loop of your own creation, a demented and twisted world that lends you no access to any bio augment you've purchased up to this point, meaning that it's just you, your weapons, and a faint light at the end of the tunnel. This level will test your skills, your wills, and your literacy. <laughs> yeah, we got a library. I fucking love silent reading time! If I were to make a meme comparison, I would say this level is like the last iteration of Mr. Incredible becoming uncanny. This gauntlet of shortcuts and mind-bendery, I would say is the perfect way to cap off an experience like this. While the game may not be perfect, I'd say it sort of encapsulates the essence of being different, and I'd wholeheartedly recommend it. The bizarre style can scare off the weak, for they will never understand the gross core subgenre. For real though, in such a desaturated market, I'm really glad that garbage gems like this still exist. I'ma plug it in at about a 90% percent on the gross meter that's about it see ya yeah i i'll say it's pretty high there on the gross meter it's disgusting but god damn does it play good that's the thing with ugly games they just play better than all the one that have all the graphical improvement and whatnot but guys thank you so much for checking out this reaction and please do go and subscribe to gmc ross he has some amazing stuff coming up and uh, yeah if you like the video you know what to do hit that like and or subscribe button if you want to see some more that said i wish you all to have a wonderful day see you guys in the next one bye